Welcome to Copilot Studio Asian Academy. This is Mission Six: Create a Custom Agent Using Natural Language with Copilot and Grounding It with Your Data. My name is Eliza Benitez, and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this mission today, we're going to learn how to build custom agents using natural language and ground them with knowledge sources. Lastly, we'll learn about generative orchestration before we dive into building a custom agent. Let's get started. So what is a custom agent? A custom agent is an agent you create from scratch in Copilot Studio for specific tasks where you control its purpose, conversation flow, data sources, and system connections. These agents can ask for information, save data, look up answers, work autonomously, and trigger actions based on user interactions. Custom agents save time by automating repetitive tasks, provide friendly guided experiences, and can be tailored to your business needs. With Copilot Studio's conversational creation experience, you can build sophisticated agents by describing what you want in plain language. No coding required. This evolution beyond pre-built templates gives you more flexibility while maintaining the simplicity of a chat-like development process. You simply tell Copilot what you want your agent to do, and it helps you build it step-by-step -step through an intuitive conversation. Now, describing a natural language to create a custom agent might be a new concept for you. So let's take the time to understand this some more. Whenever you use Copilot across Microsoft products and services, you are using natural language in the form of a prompt. A prompt is simply the message or instruction you give to an agent, kind of like giving directions to an assistant. The clearer your instructions, the better results you'll get. Good prompts guide agent behavior, it shapes a conversation style, and it will also make the agent more helpful by being specific and user focused. And it's always a good idea to include examples in your prompt. Let's next learn about knowledge sources. Knowledge sources are the places where your agent finds information to provide accurate answers, using your organization's data from Power Platform, Dynamics 365, websites, and other systems. When you connect knowledge sources, you get smarter answers with less manual work. This provides users with reliable information from your systems of record while allowing your agent to adapt and become smarter as your needs change. Now, some sources such as SharePoint and Dataverse require user authentication. This means the agent will only reference data in its response that the user is allowed to see. Whereas other sources may have additional configuration required for the agent to connect to it, such as Azure AI Search, which requires an Azure account and configuring the authentication for the search service. Lastly, generative or Lastly, generative orchestration is how your agent dynamically decides how to answer questions by combining its AI capabilities with your connected knowledge sources. Whenever a user asks a question, the agent understands it using AI, then selects relevant knowledge sources to search and generates a natural, helpful response using the information it finds. This powerful capability means you don't need to manually program answers to every possible question. The agent can pull information from sources such as SharePoint sites, data sources, or uploaded documents to provide accurate responses. So in this lab, we're going to use natural language to create an agent with Copilot. We'll be creating an IT help desk agent from scratch. We'll then add knowledge sources to ground the agent in and test our agent. The end result is a custom IT help desk agent equipped with knowledge sources to answer IT related questions. 
Now, before we begin, make sure you've already completed the earlier missions. You'll need a dedicated development environment and access to the SharePoint site that you would have created in the core setup mission. Let's begin. First, navigate to the home page of Copilot Studio where we'll see an input field. We'll enter our prompt that describes our IT help desk agent using natural language. This prompt can be copied and pasted from the lab exercise. Once we submit our prompt, Copilot Studio launches the conversational creation experience. Watch as Copilot processes our request and begins setting up the agent based on our description. Our prompt specifies that we're creating an IT help desk agent with a goal to assist with issues, it references a knowledge source, expected tasks, and how responses should be structured with bullet points. Copilot will then suggest a name based on our prompt, but let's personalize our agent's name. We'll ask Copilot to name it Contoso Help Desk Agent to align with our company branding. Notice how quickly Copilot updates the agent name on the right hand side pane. Next comes the refinement process. This is where we can be more specific about how our agent should handle different scenarios. We're adding prioritization of urgent requests, empathy, and specific formatting guidelines using bullet points. Copilot then updates the foundation of the agent based on the provided instructions. This shows the collaborative nature of this creation process. Next, Copilot asks about public websites to ground our agent's knowledge. We'll add a website as a knowledge source to enable our agent to reference accurate Microsoft support information when answering IT questions. Copilot updates the instructions with a knowledge source. It's now asking whether we want to add another knowledge source or proceed to the final step. We'll ask Copilot to proceed with the setup. Copilot tells us that the agent has been set up and that we can make further modifications if needed. We'll set some boundaries for our agent by specifying what it shouldn't discuss. We'll instruct it to avoid answering HR related questions such as vacation balances or payroll information. This is important for keeping our IT help desk agent focused on its domain and preventing it from attempting to answer questions outside its expertise or authorization. We've now completed building our agent with Copilot, but before we proceed in creating the agent, let's check a couple of things. First, select the Configure tab to review the details of our agent. The name, description, instructions, and knowledge source were derived from our conversation with Copilot. Secondly, we can test it right within the creation interface. This immediate feedback loop lets us see how our agent will respond and we can make any necessary adjustments before creating it. I'll ask our agent a question to confirm it refers to the knowledge source we provided when forming its responses. Notice how the response is outlined in bullet points as per our instructions. Lastly, we can verify that our agent will be created in the correct solution by checking the advanced settings. This is the solution we created in mission four. Having confirmed these details, we can now create our custom agent by selecting create. Copilot Studio is now provisioning our agent. It takes a minute or two to set up the agent with all our specified parameters and knowledge connections. When the agent has been provisioned, we can see that the details reflect what we requested during our conversation with Copilot, the name, description, and instructions have been set up as specified. When we scroll down, we can see our knowledge source has been connected as well. Let's do another test to verify our agent responds as expected. We'll select the activity map in the test pane and submit a question. The website knowledge source is searched and our agent responds with references to web pages. Within a few minutes, we've created a fully functional agent through pure conversation. 
Let's continue by adding an internal knowledge source using the SharePoint site you created during the course setup. Scroll down and select Add Knowledge. From the list of available knowledge sources, select SharePoint. This option enables our agent to connect to a SharePoint site. Next, paste in the address of the SharePoint site and update the name of the SharePoint site to Contoso IT. Select Add to Agent to establish a connection to the SharePoint site. The SharePoint site has now been added as a knowledge source with a status of ready. This status is important to check as it confirms the agent can access and search the content of the SharePoint site when answering questions. We'll now add another internal knowledge source by uploading a document directly to our agent. This time, select Upload File. We'll upload the sample file that's available to download in the lab exercise. This file contains information on how to connect to the guest Wi-Fi. Select Add to Agent. The document will initially have a status of in progress. Don't close the browser window. Wait until the status has been updated to ready before testing the agent. We'll next test our three knowledge sources by asking questions to our Contoso Help Desk agent. Copy and paste the following question from the lab exercise to test our public website knowledge source. The agent reviews the knowledge sources and provides a response, which includes references to the website knowledge source. If you scroll down the knowledge modal in the activity map, you'll see the other knowledge sources the agent searched. Here we can see the SharePoint site and the uploaded file. However, these were excluded in its response. The response was grounded using the website knowledge source only. Let's now test both our SharePoint site knowledge source and document knowledge source in a single message. Copy and paste the following question from the lab exercise to test our knowledge sources. Once again, you'll see the agent reviewing the three knowledge sources to generate a response to the questions to our single message. The agent responds to both questions in a single message and separately references the SharePoint page and the document. In the knowledge modal in the activity map, you'll see the SharePoint site and document were referenced. You have full transparency of where the agent generated its response from when using knowledge sources. And that wraps up mission six of the Copilot Studio Agent Academy. Thanks for joining us today. So keep experimenting, keep building, and as always, keep learning. We'll see you in the next mission of the Agent Academy.